Hey you beautiful people, Jason here for Tome and Synthesizers from my studio, The Sticks, in the beautiful West Country of England. I hope you're all doing well. Now sampling is something we all seem to take somewhat for granted these days. We may use samples of classic synths or drum machines, or even capture some of our own gear. But it hasn't always been the case. Since the beginning of recorded sound, the option to capture and include noise from our everyday surroundings has been a real fascination for a variety of composers, from the likes of John Cage and Philip Glass to The Art of Noise, David Byrne and Brian Eno and so on. So today I've decided to grab a few items from around my home and see if I can make a track with them. Now, I chose the fabulous circuit rhythm because of the wonderfully intuitive workflow, which should easily lend itself to the task in hand. I will limit myself to just eight one-shot samples, which, thanks to the rhythm's ability to play sounds across a keyboard, I should easily come up with a tune from my household items. Shall we begin? So, a little preamble on how we're going to do this. The circuit rhythm has line inputs, not microphone inputs. As you may see from my desktop, there is a microphone. So, I'm using my ISA 1 as uh, a preamp, okay? So, I thought I'd start with drum sounds. Something short, percussive, generally quite simple to find in any household. A water bottle. So, if we go to sample record, if there are already samples present, simply press clear and it wipes any sample from the memory. So we have a clean red pad ready for recording. Record turns orange. This sets the threshold for when the sample starts recording. Now you've got start and, start and stop there, but Because that doesn't really sound like a kick drum, bear in mind that we can use the notes. <laughs> really? That sounds like... Like that? Let's put some distortion on it. <laughs> now it sounds like a kick. Now, low pass and high pass filter. Let's go back and do our snare. Let's try this pump and see what this does. Okay. So, a bit noisy, but... Just changing the start point. Sounds quite good, right? Okay, let's save that. Hat. Now, coming straight in uh, from uh, <laughs> the studio. Is that cheating? No. Sample three. Let's have a see what that sounds like with our, our snare. Okay. Okay, so let's use the high pass filter. Ah, oh, where's the kick? Grid effects. That is such a cool addition. So, on to melodic instruments. <laughs> I like it. I mean, what have we got that we can do here? We can reverse it. I mean, that's that sounds good as it is. 
What's it going to sound like with a little bit of reverb on it? You've got the same effects engine as the circuit tracks. Let's dive in, pressing effects there, and find out. <laughs> That bass drum is beginning to sound more like a bass. We're going to have to find a kick, guys. Where from? Okay, there's more things to play with. Okay, let's move on. Saving as we go. The next item. Okay, as you can see, it's quite, it's quite fun, isn't it? You could just... You don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so still in my lounge, um, I've got those kind of Edison bulbs. Uh, and I wondered what, what that would sound like. So uh, I went to Under the Stairs. <laughs> and got the spare. I don't think that's nice. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay. It's in. I'm beginning to feel like it needs a bit of swing. Um, obviously, we're building up the track as we're going. This will feature at the end. You know it will. But what will happen? What will happen beyond this point? Stay tuned to find out. You never know. Yeah. 55 on the swing scale. Yes. Here we've got a wooden ornament which was about to be cast out. And I thought, let's see what we can get out of it. This is the problem. This does so many good things. I want to show you how much cool stuff this can do. But I also want to keep on track with what we're here for, which is making a tune out of bits and bobs you find around your house. Let's put some delay on that. Suddenly it's 1960s experimental music. Yeah, we still don't have a bass drum. Could it be that simple? It's a bit jazz. Okay, I'm going to go forward to the floor on that one. Let's try it. It's like... <sighs> Twilight Zone. Something from the Twilight Zone. Something from the Twilight Zone. I'm not going to play with that. That's incredible. So, before I play us out with the customary end jam, featuring, of course, all of the collected sounds, what did you think? Have you ever sampled everyday items and added them to your tunes? Is there something that really surprised you? Would you ever limit yourself, like I did, to just eight tracks and as many samples? We'd love to hear about it. Please share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe if you don't already do so, share and enjoy. And until the next time, you've got to use it to make music.